Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy. You should say good evening to the audience. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie and I are delighted to be part of this tribute to Orson Welles. Yes, Orson who? Orson Welles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, that's why we're here. Oh, is that so? Yes, yes, because we, we shared a, a fascinating moment in his life. Yeah, no names, Thurgood, no names. Yes. <laughs> she may be a grandmother by now. Yes, I know. <laughs> well... It's a pushover audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, uh, well, I'll ignore that. You know, this was in 1938. Uh-huh. And then, well, then, that was, uh, Hitler was making his moves in Europe, you know, and Lou Gehrig, he said farewell to baseball, and Joe Lewis, he knocked out two-ton Tony Galento. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, and then in, um, in, um, in Englewood, New Jersey, Frank, Sinatra was singing for $25 a week. And worth every penny of it, too. <laughs> yeah. That's very good. Now, where was I? You were standing right there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Laying an egg. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Which is pretty good for an old bird like you. All right. <laughs> you see, the joke is, oh, never mind, all right. <laughs> In those days, everybody switched dials during a commercial, you know. And uh, on October 30th, 1938, millions turned to our competition, CBS, Orson Welles, and his Mercury Theater. Yeah. Boo, Orson, boo. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, they never turned us back in again. Yeah, boo some more. All right. <laughs> we were that bad. No, no, no. <laughs> You see, the joke is, oh, never mind, all right. <laughs> the point is, though, the point is this, Charlie. Yeah, I wish you'd get to the point here. Yeah. That, that Orson's radio version of the War, uh, war of the Worlds. Well, get it right, yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> you should be sitting up here. No, 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 no. <laughs> It was so, so realistically presented and so brilliantly executed that the whole country was frightened. Yeah. Looking back at it now, I, I just don't understand how anyone could be so dumb as to believe all that. Well, you know, if they were dumb enough not to be listening to our show, they'd be dumb enough to believe anything. <laughs> I see. You're still a little mad at Mr. Wells. No, I was only kidding. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Yes, after all, he's... Uh, He's really a great man. He's done great things, and I'm very glad to be here. Well, that's very nice of you to say that, yes. Yes, yes. I, I think that was very diplomatic. Well, I may be a dummy, but I'm not stupid. All right. <laughs> <laughs>